Hey folks, uh, this is old Grandpa Gary, G and the D now, uh, competing with NPR on our local radio. Uh, <clears throat> look at this, I'm inside the kiln now. Move the cap inside out. Got the form out. This is the tail. A lot bigger than I thought of. Couple of shelves, well, uh, kind of dark in here. We'll get some lighting in, but down there, then that's the rest of the kiln. I think the guy's name is Seth down there. It's digging out some more, and there's our firebox. Oh, I'm thinking now this maybe this tail is going to want one of those walls put in, a permeable wall. And then that back area tapers up a ways. Well, that back doesn't taper really. But from where it is over the top of the arch outside, then starts to taper. So that sees my collection, what I was thinking, that collection box they talk about. Past this, past putting a wall, here, see, right there. And that's about a cubicle shape back there. <clears throat> and we got a stoke hole here. And... We got another stoke hole here. And get these bricks. Maybe we'll cut them to shape. This air comes in under there. There might be more. That's a lot of it. They will come out here. Seth, right? Yeah. Yeah. I can't really see you yet. There he is. So I'm trying to backfill up over there and then use some more clay that's uh, digging up down here on the top outside of the kiln. So. Get a shot in here like that. So see the big one. Alright. So, that's the inside of that kiln. Pretty neat, eh? We'll go take a look at the tail here in a second. Alright, get out of this hole.